welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago Cubs. And now, your 2000 First pitch coming your way next. Chicago Cubs. Ready to go. Clayton Kershaw getting the start. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. Here at Wrigley Field, and the batter now, Josh Rojas. Leading off tonight for Arizona, the second baseman, Josh Rojas. That's off the mark, and this four-game set is underway. First pitch, 640. Kershaw fires. That's a laser base hit. Nice job of driving that Not pitch exactly. the other way on the a right line. Field. You know, hitters, Number they take nine. so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now, Adrian Del Castillo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Rojas aboard here at first with nobody out. And now it's even up. I think he was sitting off speed there. At the belt and fire. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Next offering is down low. Two ball, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. Here comes the two two. He swings and fouls one off. Left-hand batter waits. Fall off foul. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Here's a 2-2. Line drive. Caught. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you've got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. David Peralta in the box with one away as he takes one there for a ball. The 
the pitch. That one lifted to left. Harrison has a beat on it. Makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. Batting four. The catcher, Carson. And now the batter Kelly. is Carson Kelly. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Good eye right there. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. He'll do it himself, and that is that. One left for the Diamondbacks. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. We go to the bottom of the first, and on the hill, Corbin Mark. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but come. just knowing you have the swing and the miss dump baseman. in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. And the pitch. Alex Verdugo stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Up the middle. Ahmed gets it to first. And a quick out number one. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. And we check out the guy in the seventh spot, Chris Bryant. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Josh Harrison takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Next offering is downstairs. Too. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. Next one misses, and the count is two and two.
and a pitch on the ground right side a flip to the pitcher covering here tonight an efficient start to the home first two away batting third not shortstop Corey Seager now it's Corey Seager obviously a guy who makes good contact hits for average but one of the things in today's game the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties in there for strike one they're so reliant on the matchups nowadays Chris and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. when you can hit you know both sides in terms of pitchers arms you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope Next offering upstairs. Kicks and fires. On the ground. Ahmed collects it. The throw to first. And Seeger is set down. Third out. Cubs down quietly. We played an inning. No score. here at Wrigley Field. Now it's the DH. Christian Walker. The designated hitter. Christian Walker. Kershaw back to work. That's in there. Going one. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Next pitch is outside. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. And it's even up. Line of the pitch. The punch out there. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Here's David Bodie. Foul ball there. Owen to as he waves at that one. score here in the second. And that one hit to first. He takes it on his own. Two up, two down in the top of the second. The center field is 
And now it's Dalton Varsho. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Right side, hard hit. Takes it himself, and that is that. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And here it comes. To the right side, Rojas gloves it, and Castellanos is out. That is good. The first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. First offering misses the mark. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. One to know to Freddie Freeman. There's the strike. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. One down, base is empty. That one ripped. Varsho right there to make the grab. Two down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just that frustrating exists. when you can't get it to the fall. Maybe next hitter. time up, he'll find Keep a hole. Ryan. Hey. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Key Brian Hayes. And the first offering is not close. Out towards left center. Peralta makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now it's the shortstop, the Nick Ahmed. You talk about elite defensive Nick players, especially Ahmed. in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And now the lefty. And he grounds one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play with that two strikes. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now, Buddy Kennedy put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. And first offering is fouled off. Ahmed gets his lead at first with nobody out. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. 
Bryant under it and puts the squeeze on that and there's one down the batter number 10 second base Josh. here's Josh Rojas really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field And it goes just foul. He's the pitch. Going, Runner on the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Top of the third. No score. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And the pitch. And now the count is even. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Freeman. And now too long. Well, he certainly didn't look comfortable or fluid on that play. And later in this now ball game, this could come back to bite him if the ball is hit to him and he's playing that same position. And here is Adrian Del Castillo. One's in there on one. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. The one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. I'll tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Brian on the move to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. One left for Arizona. And we are still scoreless. Back here at the friendly confines. Here's Chris Bryant now. Leading off for the Cubs. The center fielder. Chris. Ryan. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. And takes low for ball one. Righty delivers. Up the middle. 
gets it to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting eight, the catcher, Wilson. John Perez. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. in there for strike one. Deal one. Nope. And there's a ball. Two away now. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Batting nine, the third baseman, Raphael Devers. Two outs, base is empty. Devers now. On the ground right side and it's through for a hit. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was the ready to swing it on the first pitch. There's Second nothing cheap baseman. about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, cut out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. So the batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Alex Verdugo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. That misses, and it's 2-0. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. Well, in this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Next pitch misses inside, and it's 3-0. Devers off of first with two away. Swing and a miss as they green light him. <laughs> 3 0 hack right there. See, man, I'm going to go for it. And ball four to a board. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Harrison swings through it for strike one. In the dirt. offering is in for a strike two outs a couple of base runners at first and second next pitch is popped up Rojas fires over to first and the inning is over 
up, strand a couple. Still no score. All set for the start of the inning. David Peralta at the play. Leading off for Arizona, the left fielder, David Peralta. Kershaw back to work. Pitch misses. One and oh. And he deals. Lifted in the air, center field. Bryant makes his way towards it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One away. Up next to the diamond, the catcher, Carson. And here's the catcher, Carson Kelly, grounded out his first time. And a pitch. That one missed. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the air, left field. Harrison settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two down. Now that designated hitter, Christian. Two Walker. outs, base is empty. And now it's Christian Walker. Check swing, but he went too far. And that's strike one. Yo won. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. But why to kick the pitch? And a foul ball, he stays alive. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. And the Diamondbacks down in order, and we're still knotted at zero. Bottom four, and here is Corey Seager. Leading off for the Cubs, the shortstop, Corey Seager. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. At the belt and fires. Good eye right there. And another ball. Oh, 
rip to the right center. And now maybe extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double in the fourth. Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. First pitch, and he just misses. Right-hander deals. Lays down the line. This looks like extra bases. Here comes the runner. He scores and they have the lead. one nothing. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Pitch was away and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's all for one. Now back, the first baseman, Freddy Freeman. In there for strike one. offering misses and it's one and one there's a one one and a swing to miss Castellanos stands at second with no outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Next is the designated hitter, Key Brian Hayes. Key Brian Hard hit, right side. Whips it to first. He's out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ryan. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Righty to the plate. Squirts away a little bit. Runner at third. Two away. This one in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. It's now 1 0. Here at 
Wrigley Field. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, David Bodie. David Bodie. comes a pitch there's the strike a wind in the pitch that misses one ball one strike that's where you want it. it's a good miss the pitch This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Makes the grab one away. Now batter, the center fielder, Dalton Varsho. Next to hit, Dalton Varsho. First what offering misses badly for ball one. Offering upstairs. Pitch misses inside, and now 3 0. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And a four-pitch walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. One gone runner at first. Nick Ahmed here to hit. And he's already singled in this game. Popped in the air. Left field. Falls it in, two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead now of staying closed. Number if seven. he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next to hit for Arizona, Buddy Kennedy. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. there and it's 0-1. Varsho leads off first with two down to the inning. pitch out to center Bryant moving under this one brings it in for the third out one left for the Diamondbacks they trail here one nothing welcome back we head to the bottom of the fifth stepping in Wilson Contreras for the Cubs the catcher Wilson John Barrett. The pitch. And he pumps it a strike. And here it comes. Nope.
strike two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. The one two stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely now and back. just bunched him up the on baseman. the inside part of the plate. Oh, Could yeah. get around on it and catch it out Never. front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Rafael Devers up to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. You'll want. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, and 2. Down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's the really settling reason. in and that getting was. the feel for his pitches, throwing him where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's Alex Verdugo. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. They say you win. And the pitch. So now one and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. Rojas throws on to first. And Verdugo is set down. And that'll do it. Five innings complete. It's the Cubs one and the Diamondbacks double. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Josh Rojas. Kershaw back to work. And he lays down a bunt. And foul ball. Pitch and fouled off. Going oh, two now and a swing and a miss. Now one away. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway no, to the no. plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. So up next, Adrian Del Castillo. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
That one the other way. Takes it in for the out. Great hops right there, Boog. He timed it now just batting. right to bring that liner Boog. down, and he saved David a knock. Peralta. Two outs, bases empty. David Peralta stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that's in there for strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next pitch is outside. Late on that fastball. the frame two three four due up in the home half of the six it's the Cubs one and the Diamondbacks nothing back here at the ballpark where we go bottom six so up now for Chicago Leading Josh Harrison the, Cubs, the left fielder Josh Harrison And he deals. Ball one there. Righty delivers. Bounce to the right side. Rojas handles the chance. One up, one down. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the no shallow right field. Six. But then after that, it's a tough angle oh, after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Seeger stands in now. One for two. First offering misses the mark. And the 1 0. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now batting right fielder Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos, the next Cub to hit. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. And a count one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. 
And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Back here at Wrigley Field, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's the we catcher, Carson Kelly. The catcher, Carson Kelly. And a pitch. That one fouled off. The tying run at the plate. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Slice down the right side. up to the left into foul ground the wind of the pitch Side foul territory. Kicks Indians. Bounced up the middle into the outfield base hit. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So digging in, Christian Walker. In the dirt, blocked. Runner at first with no outs here. That pitch is downstairs. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. And that one fouled off. Shaw the 2 1. And that one ripped into right. Castellanos makes the play. And there's one away. Now up next for Arizona, David Bodie. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. One's in there, 0 and 1. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone.
And now the lefty. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Castellanos glides back. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball. Kelly stands at first with one out. Got him. And there's two down. Now, Blue, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him the space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and we're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Dolph Marshall stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Harrison makes the grab, and that is that. One left for Arizona, still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. So up now for Chicago. Leading off. Freddie Four Freeman. Up, the first baseman. Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Stays alive. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. And that one wrapped foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. And here's the DH the for the Cubs. Key Brian Hayes. Key Brian Hayes. First pitch, not close. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Kicks and fires. Ooh. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Three oh down. That's a strike. And now three and one.
And a 3-1 on the way. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. And up next for Chicago, Chris Bryant. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. One. one run game, one out, one on. Next offering is in for a strike. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. And the right hater deals. And down on strikes. Two out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Contreras in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Out towards right center field. Varsho ranging back. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that will end the inning. One left for the Cubs. But they still lead it 1 0. Back here at the friendly. Leading off from the diamond. Nick Nick. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs. Rowan Wick. Trying to protect this lead. Number 51. Here it comes. On the ground to Devers. Devers throws on to first. One up, one down. The bat, number seven. Buddy Kennedy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one in the dirt. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. 
Josh Rojas stands in now for the Diamondbacks for the fourth time tonight. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well, you can't offer it that pitch in an 0 0 count. It's a strike, but not every strike is a good strike early in the count. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Brian on the move. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Diamondbacks down quickly. They're down 1 0. Joe Mansupply gets the now, ball now. He's been so good against lefties. Well, I think that what Joe makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Here at Wrigley Field, out of the bottom of the eighth, here's the third Wrigley baseman, Rafael Devers. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. pitch there's a strike activity in the Arizona bullpen Noe Ramirez getting ready to go Javinsky warming up as well oh. next offering is down low ball one pitch swings and lines a base hit into left field the batter number 99 second baseman and the batter now Alex Verdugo And that's in there for strike one. Devers on at first. Nobody out. That one not close. One and one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Left hand batter waits. On the ground, two ball. One at second. On the first double play. The batter, the left hand, Josh Harrison. Now it's going to be Josh Harrison. First offering in the dirt. At the belt and fires. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. The batter number six. Shortstop. So now Corey. it's Corey Seager. Oh. 
Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. And a foul ball. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And Seeger is set down. And that is the inning. Cubs lead one. They lead it 1 0. Back here at Wrigley Field, we go to the ninth. And now Adrian Del Castillo. The right field. Number nine. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Hunter Green. And he'll work on holding this lead. Wind of the pitch. Way high. Bullpen activity starting up now. Alec Mills. Up and loosening in the pen. A line to kick the pitch. And that misses upstairs now, 3 and 0. Oh. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. In for a strike, now 3 and 1. They get the leadoff man in the ninth. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And now it's going to be David Peralta. And the first offering is not close. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there and just going to have to sit on it. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Carson Kelly. One for three. In there and it's 0 and 1. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play touch up. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Slice to right, and there's a hit. 
That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Two outs, runner on first. Now here is Christian Walker. That one's in there, 0-1. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. In the air to left center, Bryant. On the move, racing back. He's got a ball game. And the Cubs use three pitchers to combine for the shot. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing. So the Cubs celebrate at the plate for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Chicago Cubs, one run, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Diamondbacks, no run, four hits, one error. They left five men on base.